everybody welcome to my channel today i'm going to give you some tips for a positive co-parenting in a divorce i'm rita and today it's all about you going through a separation and consequently a divorce it's really really difficult for all the people that it's involved and usually these people are the mom, the dad, and the children. Adults have to deal with the, uh, trust, sadness, disappointment, and uh, self-esteem management. But for kids, um, there's always uh, uh, new routines, new rules, new ways of doing things, and at the same time deal with trauma that uh, this kind of situation may bring. The understanding between adults is not uh, very common but for the kids sake the joint custody gives some stability that kids need to overcome this situation try to see your ex-partner as uh, only the uh, other parent of your children of course in the beginning this is not easy because there are still lots of emotions involved but for sake of your children it's necessary that you put a bit aside all the negative feelings toward your ex-partner particularly in front of the children and concentrate in your child matter your kids love both the parents and actually they are the product of uh, uh, a very uh, lovely and good times but that concept of togetherness of a family of you and other person has a romantic couple is gone but the concept of parent is not uh, gone and it will never be so it's important that you respect this concept not just for yourself uh, but for your ex-partner as the parent of your kids Get used to put your child first and don't use your child or your children as a revenge or an object to hurt your ex-partner. Make sure that you support your children and that they um, feel loved. Many kids blame themselves for the parents' divorce and separation. So in this matter, it's important that you talk and explain to your kids in order for them to understand that uh, something uh, happened between you and um, uh, the other uh, parent and nothing happened between both of you and uh, uh, them the children it's important that uh, you uh, make them understand that they are a product of love and that both of you will love them forever it's also important that you give them stability in order for them to trust you and to feel much more safe safe and secure uh, with the, the future life Parallel parenting is also a um, choice that uh, one of you have if both of you as adults cannot really communicate about your kids daily life. So this means that uh, one of you have to step down, both of you uh, have to agree or make a big agreement about everything about your kids and the one that is step stepping down. Um, it's not really participate actively and daily in the uh, kids life so the other parent is the one that has to be the responsible parent to really make all the agreement and make everything work this doesn't mean that the the, the parent that stepped down is not visiting it does, or doesn't have any kind of contact with kids no this just means that in the education, in the needs of the kids, this other parent is the one that is um, just uh, stepping, stepping down and only one parent take the responsibility of uh, making some um, uh, daily life things and daily life choices. This 
this is very helpful for um, a period of, of time until parents can really find a way to connect and to um, be able to work uh, again together only uh, for the children. It's very important that you stick with your parent uh, schedules and agreements. Do it uh, particularly for your kids that are in a moment of uh, vulnerability and this makes them feel a little bit more safe with the stability of uh, the new routines that will make them trust in you and in adults in general again because they can understand that both of you, you and your ex-partner, stick to the promises and the responsibilities that they have toward your children. Try to avoid uh, having bad mouth or um, bad words toward your ex-partner in front of your children. Understand that they both love you um, in the same way at the same time and uh, uh, this can eventually make them feel that they have to choose something and uh, no children has to choose in the case of divorce there is no um, uh, uh, room for this kind of uh, thing so it's important that uh, you don't really create this kind of feeling in your kids uh, mind Focus your attention on helping your kids uh, focus on the good side of the, uh, the separation and the divorce. So new homes, new routines, eventually new friends, new schools, new experiences. Help develop resilience in your kids and help them have um, a positive feeling about uh, this new adaptation time. Don't create a, a victimized uh, behave for yourself and a victim um, image for yourself in order for your kids to um, have uh, empathic behaves. Your experiences were very difficult and they are still very difficult. This is something that probably it's new for you, it's something that you never felt before and of course you are um, having uh, different kinds of emotions but understand that your children have their own points of view too and uh, you have to respect them you have to understand that uh, they see things in a different way they don't see things as you that uh, are an adult and were in a relationship um, understand that probably um, they can eventually tell you things that you are not ready to but understand that um, uh, maybe if you were in the same position as your children maybe you had the same ideas and you always can talk uh, to them about all of your emotions and all of your feelings of course respecting the boundaries and uh, respecting the uh, age of uh, your children and not really treat them as an adult that they are not and uh, not uh, really um, forget that they are also involved in this situation in a different way Now that you have a different reality, um, have time to create also different memories with your children, different bonds, different routines, and maybe you can even try to have moments where you talk to them uh, a little bit more often, that you play with them, that you develop their own emotional intelligence using a more mindful approach in order for you and your children uh, start the healing process and of course you want always to be the best parent but it's also important that uh, 
you remember that it's just fine uh, to feel a little bit tired, a little bit sad and a little bit more emotion. Be an example for your kids and try to um, find a balance between all the feelings and all the bad things that you are feeling and uh, your um, kids' feelings and even behaves. This also means that you have to have a good act attitude uh, toward uh, your bad moments, but you don't really have to um, have all your bad mo moments in front of your kids, but at the same time you don't have to hide your feelings. In a way it's important for you to um, have feelings even in front of your kids because they understand and they have to understand that everybody has feelings and this can eventually uh, help them uh, realize their own feelings too. At the other hand, and that's why this phase is difficult, you have to also understand that uh, sometimes it's too heavy for the children understand that he has to take care of you um, and uh, um, some roles in your house maybe just turn in a different way so we don't want this to happen we don't want your kids to have this weight um, and they we just want them to understand that both sides are uh, true both sides are um, a reality and it's important having feelings but it's important to respect their own childhood and have your own private moments and so that's all for today guys i hope you like it i hope you subscribe to the channel leave a thumbs up share with a friend comment if you want and i'll see you next time for another video bye